SR-71 is a famed aircraft that could go three times the speed of sound and was used for reconnaissance during the Cold War. What's lesser known, however, is the amazing engine that powered and enabled it, the J-58 engine. One of the big problems with the J-58 engine was that this engine had to be able to operate at a wide range of conditions from takeoff and landing of the SR-71 all the way up to Mach 3 plus speeds. A big challenge with the J-58 was dealing with heat. At the turbine wheel the temperature was about 2000 degrees so high temperature metal alloys were very important. Also, in controlling the engine, the J-58 used a hydraulic system rather than an electrical system to deal with this heat problem. Also, the J-58 engine was used in continuous afterburner, which is very unusual for an aircraft because of the heat issue. And the way that the J-58 design dealt with that were with these bypass tubes. There are six of these, three on each side and air from the front part of the engine partway through the compressor was ducted back to the afterburner and this air was also used to cool the afterburner. Another important feature of the J-58 engine and really the SR-71's propulsion system in general was the way that the inlet was shaped. And in fact at the high speeds that the SR-71 could fly past Mach 3, about half the thrust of the SR-71 actually came from the shockwave that was captured inside the inlet of the SR-71.